Time is running out and hope is dim. Can you escape a depleted spaceport before your team of adventurers is overwhelmed by a colony of alien spiders? Let's learn how to play Forbidden Jungle, Survive the Wild, in this episode of Little Big Thumbs. <laughs> The goal of Forbidden Jungle is to escape a remote moon by powering up a long forgotten portal. We'll do this by positioning an illuminated crystal on each side of the portal. If we can prepare the portal, gather all adventurers onto it and clear it of any alien eggs, hatchlings or adults, our squad of adventure seekers will win the game. There are also several ways to lose the game, but we'll point those out in just a moment. Forbidden Jungle is a cooperative game designed by Matt Leacock that plays with 2-5 to five players ages 10 and up and lasts approximately 45 minutes. Before we play the game, we'll first need to set up the jungle. Choose a spaceport card and copy everything you see on the card. Arrange the jungle tiles with the unexplored side up along with Fool's Landing, with a little bit of space in between each tile. Next, we'll place the alien miniatures to match our pattern on the spaceport card, and then prepare the cardboard threat meter, setting it to your desired difficulty level. Shuffle the threat and equipment decks and keep them face down near the jungle. Randomly assign each player an adventurer, which will determine their color for the game as well as a unique special ability. Place each adventurer's matching pawn on the fool's landing tile, and at this point we are now set up and ready to play Forbidden Jungle. Turns of Forbidden Jungle involve taking up to four actions using any combination of the following options. Move your player pawn, explore a jungle tile, remove an alien, or operate a machine. After a player has taken their actions, it will be time to draw a number of threat cards equal to the current threat level, which is how the aliens move, drop web tokens, and expand their presence on the board, along with some unexpected and unpleasant surprises. Before we reveal how the spiders spin their webs, let's first take a look at those player actions. Taking the move action allows a player to move their pawn to an adjacent tile, up, down, left, or right, but never diagonal. Some tiles feature tunnels, and players may also use an action to move from one tunnel to another. However, if there is a web token between two tiles, a player may not move that direction. In contrast to our adventurers, the aliens are not hindered by web tokens. If a player's pawn is on a tile that has not yet been explored, they can take the explore action by flipping it over, so long as there are no eggs, hatchlings, or adult aliens on that tile. If the tile has a gear-shaped equipment symbol on it, that player will also draw an equipment card. Equipment cards can help players get out of some sticky situations, like this jetpack here, so they're always nice to have available. Players that occupy the same tile can freely trade equipment cards, allowing them to find the ideal situation for each card. Using the remove action, a player may remove one adult, one hatchling, one egg, or one web from their tile. Return the alien to the supply near the board when you do this. You'll want to do this often because if a threat card ever asks us to place an alien or web token and there are none in the supply, we immediately lose the game. Once explored, several of the tiles will feature powerful machines on them. If your pawn is on a tile with a configurator, compeller, destruct switch, or portal, you may spend one action to operate that machine. There are four different types of machines, which we'll break down for you right now. The configurator is essential to winning Forbidden Jungle. This machine allows us to slide any one tile up, down, left, or right, any number of empty spaces in the same direction, as long as it ends up adjacent to another tile. Making use of the compeller machine will force all of the adults and hatchlings on any one tile to move to an adjacent tile. And just like the adventurer movement through tunnels, we can use the compeller to move aliens through tunnels. Note that this is just for hatchlings and adults. We cannot use the compeller to move eggs or adventurers. Using the destruct switch will allow us to remove any one tile in the playing area along with everything on it. Webs, eggs, hatchlings, and adults. You may not remove a tile that contains adventurers. Removing an unexplored tile is allowed. Just make sure you don't destroy something you'll need to win the game, like those four illuminated crystals and at least one portal. Speaking of which, our final machine is the portal itself. Its only function is to allow us to win the game. 
Once each side of a portal is lined up with an illuminated crystal, all adventurers are stationed there, and there are no alien eggs, hatchlings, or adults on the tile, we can use one action to activate the portal and win the game. Once a player has taken their four actions, it's time to draw some threat cards to allow the aliens to strike back. The threat meter will tell us how many cards we draw, and those cards will allow the spider-like creatures to spawn, hatch, grow, and move around the playing area. Whenever a card calls for the adult aliens to move, they will look for an adventurer to sting. If an adventurer pawn is on the same tile an adult is moving to, they will be stung and lose one point of health. If any adventurer loses their last health point, they are poisoned and the game is immediately lost. In addition to those alien actions, we will see the very ground beneath us collapse, as well as seeing the threat level regularly increase. The way these cards can bounce off of each other can create some tricky situations, so our adventurers will want to be on their toes and collaborating and communicating at all times. As we mentioned earlier, there's only one way to win Forbidden Jungle, but there are several ways to lose the game. If a threat card ever asks us to add an egg, hatchling, adult, or web token, and there are none available in the supply, we immediately lose the game. If our threat level ever reaches the very top of the meter to the burst symbol, we immediately lose the game. If any adventurer loses all of their health due to stings from an adult alien, we immediately lose the game. If a threat card causes a tile containing an adventurer to collapse, and there isn't an adjacent tile to escape to, and they don't have one of those handy jetpacks, that adventurer is trapped, and we immediately lose the game. And finally, if any of the illuminated crystal tiles or all four portal tiles are removed from play, we are forever stuck on this jungle moon and we immediately lose the game. Forbidden Jungle continues the lineage of challenging and yet accessible cooperative games from designer Matt Leacock, which all began with the extremely popular Forbidden Island. If you have any questions about the way we approach this tutorial video, please let us know in the comments down below. And until next time, whether you've got little players or big players, make sure that you keep playing games that make your thumbs go way up. Bye for now.